That's a little better. Oof, that's a little worse. <sighs> Hi, my name is Allie K. Campbell, where the K stands for <clears throat> kind of terrified to, uh, to make this video, honestly. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And that welcome is for all y'all, but also for all me, because I have um, abandoned this channel for the past like six months, maybe even longer. With good reason though, with good reason. Just keeping the glasses on because I thought they made me look better without makeup. I think they actually somehow make me look worse. All right, leave it to me to uh, not even beat a face on for my first video in six months. That might be growth, honestly, but I felt compelled to make this video right now. And I knew if I thought about it any longer, I would never make it. Yeah, so I've been pretty absent from this channel for quite some time and that is what this video is gonna be about. So if you're here looking for like tips or tricks or whatever else and you have no interest in me as a human being, which do not blame you, do not blame you, just scurry along somewhere else. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, okay? Normally at this point, this is when I would do the, if you're really into content about queerness and sobriety and ADHD, smash that subscribe button. We're gonna skip that part today. I'm going to maybe even <clears throat> suggest that some of you unsubscribe from this channel. <sighs> Keep watching to find out why. Here's a little brief history of what this shit is right here. For those of you who have been here since like day one or even like day two through I don't know, 600. This channel started as Young, Dumb, and Sober. It was exclusively videos about sobriety and recovery, being young in sobriety and recovery, how to have fun while you're getting sober or still sober, blah, 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 blah. It was the love child of one of my best friends, Abel, and I. So if you've been around for that long, God bless. After like a year into making videos, Abel and I would joke about like, you know, if we keep this up, we're gonna have to rename the channel to just uh, dumb and sober because at that time we were approaching our 30s. Now we're well into our 30s. That's apparently how like aging and time works. Don't, don't come at me for my nails. They're, I know, I know I need to get them done. It's on my to-do list. Anyway, dumb and sober, yada, yada, yada. Abel eventually went his own separate way. Cue Fleetwood Mac. You can go your own way. And he did, but don't get it twisted. We're still super tight. I saw him like last weekend and we're going on a trip together in a month. Uh, no beef there. Actually, I love him to death, probably more than he's even comfortable with. But where am I going with this? When Abel left the channel, we did a little bit of a rebrand here. I moved away from making sobriety content so often. Wow, Ramsey, good job. You're scratching, that's so good. It was very impressive. I took ownership of it, made it the Allie K. Campbell show. That's not what I actually called it, obviously. And started moving away from sobriety and recovery content. I wanted to make it about more than just sobriety. Fast forward a couple of months, and I started getting really interested in the intersection of being neurodivergent, ADHD, and substance abuse issues. Even asked to speak at a Sober Voices event. You can actually watch it here, but I would suggest that you watch this video first before you get to that. Led me into a really deep dive of all the ways in which growing up as somebody who's neurodivergent and somebody who has, eh, I was gonna say had, has several mental health issues that I've struggled with for really my entire life, how those things impacted my substance abuse, what role they played, and the truth that I eventually landed upon, and remember, this is my truth, nobody else's, is that I'm not and have never been an alcoholic. This might not come as news to any of you. In the later sobriety videos, you've probably heard me talking about how I kind of moved away from 12-step programs, um, that I really wasn't comfortable with the ideology, although I do owe AA and NA and all the A's so much. I owe those programs my life. They were there for me at a time that I needed them, but once I moved away from that, I started thinking more about the fact that I don't identify as an alcoholic, I don't identify as an addict. Have I drank alcoholically? Yes. Have I drank problematically? Yes. Have I drank fatally? Yes. And am I hardwired to have addictive tendencies? Yeah, sure am. But none of that really changes the fact that I never truly identified as an alcoholic or an addict. It took me a while to get there and I had a lot of 12 step trauma to um, unpack. <laughs> what I realized was like, I'm just a fucking human being who experienced periods of substance abuse. Just like I was or am a human being who experienced periods of depression, experienced periods of 
happiness, periods of confusion, it's whatever. I don't identify as depression. I don't identify as happiness. <laughs> that would be weird. I started thinking what might my life look like and my recovery, not my recovery from substance abuse, but my recovery from this chronic diagnosis that is the human condition. What might it look like? That's right. Chills chills. The more I thought on this, the more I knew that I needed to get other people's opinions. Um, people I trusted, people who knew me. So I did. I talked to the people in my circle. I talked to the people closest to me in my life. Talked to my higher power. I talked to my therapist at length months about my decision to perhaps reintroduce alcohol into my life in a more mindful way. I guess what I'm saying here is that I am glad I had the foresight to change the name from Young, Dumb, and Sober. Otherwise, at this point in time, like today, right now, the channel... My fucking battery died. I switched it out. Yeah, at this point in time, the channel would just be called dumb. What I'm trying to say is that... Well, I'm not dumb, by the way. That's not what I'm implying. I'm not sober anymore. Oh, and by the way, don't be like, oh, that's why she looks like fucking shit because she's not sober anymore. No, I literally have COVID now that that's out of the way. If I would not get a copyright strike, this would be the perfect time to bring in Demi's. And it's also Leo season, it's a new moon. So it would just be perfect, but I have a feeling this video is already not gonna perform well. So I'm not gonna put any other strikes against myself. Yeah, and the reason that I've stayed quiet about it is not because I have any shame about it, not because I disagree with my decision to experiment with mindful drinking at this stage in my life, not because I was hiding it from anyone in my life. In fact, like I said, my parents, my family members, my best friends, and my therapist have been aware of this for a little while. Why, why was I so hesitant? to share because I didn't and I don't want my decision, which took me over a year to make and required a lot of work, a lot of processing to influence any of you. So yes, I am an influencer who is afraid of influencing. That's, that's where we're at now. Okay, <clears throat> because here's the thing. Although some of my ideas and my beliefs around sobriety have obviously changed, one message that has remained consistent throughout this entire channel, throughout all of the different channels that I'm on, it's like three, it's the message that everybody's journey is unique and that as great as it is to find like community and repertoire and relatability to people who have been through something similar and it's great to take advice from people who have been through it, that never means that we should apply everything that somebody else has done for their life to ourselves. I've been very hesitant about sharing this because what works for one person could literally be deadly for someone else. So if I haven't made it blatantly obvious yet, if you are sober or you are trying to get sober or you are newly sober, please do not think that my decision, again, my decision for my life to reevaluate my relationship with alcohol should be a justification for you to do the same. I don't really know you guys at the very least. I don't know you as much as you know me because this is like a one-sided conversation. I'm a talking head, you know, but I do care about you and your health and your recovery. I would never be able to forgive myself if I knew that someone who was on their path, on the straight and narrow, veered off of it because of an autonomous decision I made for myself. And I'm sorry that I haven't talked about it publicly. I've genuinely just been scared. I don't want anyone, especially people who are just getting started, um, to take my actions, my decisions, my experiences as a reason for going out and drinking or using again. And honestly, there's still a part of me that's wondering if I should have kept silent about it for longer. But another thing that I I've pushed on this platform another message that has been consistent from the start is that of authenticity and honesty and showing up as exactly who you are at that moment in time not the person that you think people want you to be or who you think you should be and like i said i'm i'm not ashamed of my decision i'm firm in it at this point in time i don't want to have to hide something that i'm not ashamed of i don't want to have to hide anything in my life I very much operate under the belief that there's no reason to hide something or even lie about it if you're not doing something that you don't find to be wrong or harmful. My lips are so chapped. So you can see the cognitive dissonance that was created within me um, when all of this took place. 
I came to a fork in the road, I guess you can say, because I have really wanted to start making videos again on this channel. I just went through a fucking soul-crushing breakup. I know, another one, am I right? Homegirl didn't even make it to the channel. I have to turn the air on because it's like 100 degrees out. Sorry if that fucks up the audio. I'll speak louder. But despite the heartbreak and wanting to kind of crawl in a hole and unalive due to like losing somebody that I really cared about and really loved, I have kind of had no choice but to like hone in on where I'm at in my life and how I spend my time, who I spend my time with, what I spend my time doing, and like what things, not necessarily because of this past relationship, but just with like getting a new job, moving into a new apartment, what have I let fall to the wayside? What things that used to like light me up did I stop putting energy into? Did I stop nurturing? One of those things has been this channel. Granted, I've been making content on TikTok and I've been doing like my live streams and stuff. YouTube was a fixture for me for a really, really long time and like not doing it has been hard for me for a while and I feel like I'm at a point where I want to start putting energy back into it. But if I'm going to do that, I have to do it fully myself. Allie K. Campbell, where the K stands for authentic. And that means it's the me that is continuing their recovery journey outside of sobriety. Needless to say, I won't be posting any more sobriety content, but I will be keeping up all of my old stuff because I know it's still helpful for people. I don't want anyone to think that the stuff that I said in those videos or the stuff that even Abel said in those videos no longer stands. Like they used to say this in AA all the time, like take what you like and leave the rest. There's still a lot of great like nuggets of wisdom in those videos for people who are pursuing that path. But just to make it very, very clear, I'm definitely not going to be posting new content about like tips and tricks of how to stop being sober and drink mindfully. Like, no, that's not the agenda I'm pushing here. I'm not pushing any agenda, honestly. Five tips to start drinking after you've experienced years of substance abuse due to trauma. It's just not gonna go over well and I don't feel good about it, okay? Not to mention, like, I'm still figuring it the fuck out. I am walking into this stage of my life fully prepared for the possibility that it will will turn out terribly and I might turn right back around and go back to abstinence or a period of abstinence. Who the fuck knows? But I'm also fully prepared for the possibility of me having made enough progress and changed enough and grown enough as a person that I'm able to make not better choices for myself but more informed choices for myself. You don't have to be concerned about like any of my new content like being triggering to sober people. And yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for the hate that's gonna come. I know that there are gonna be some people who uh, have a lot of negative to say, but I am also hoping that there are at least a few supportive comments in the mix. But either way, I'm gonna live my fucking life and I'm gonna do it in a way that feels right for me. And if you wanna stay along for the ride, cool. I love that for you. I love that for us. Stick around for the relationship content, the queerness content, the ADHD content, perhaps even down the line, updated sobriety content. You never know. However, if this doesn't feel like a safe space for you anymore, I completely understand. I don't hold it against you. Smash that on subscribe button. I obviously want you to do what is best for you and your journey because that is literally all I can ever hope that people want for me as well. I have no not awkward way to end this video uh, except with saying it's been real, it's been fun, and it's been real fun. I'm so happy I didn't cry. I was crying when I was writing the bullet points for this. Not me crying on YouTube, not in 2022. So anyway, if you don't hate me and are choosing to stick around, I encourage you to leave a comment letting me know what type of content content you would like to see on this channel moving forward because I'm gonna try and get back to posting one video a week. We shall see. Okay guys, thanks for listening.